Before we get started, let's take a look at the basic anatomy of the mouth. So get your handout out and just trace along with me as we take a look at the construction of the mouth. So in terms of the anatomy of the mouth, um, with the upper lip, we've got the tubercle here, which is kind of the bend in the upper lip. We've got the wings of the upper lip on either side of the upper lip. We've got the philtrum, which is the little like divot above the upper lip. And then the lower lip is made up of two circular fat pads. So you get like a little divot in the center of the two. And so in constructing the lips, and just trace along with me, you'll start with the center line of the lip and you'll kind of go horizontal, angled straight line going up, angled straight line going down, angled straight line going up again, this is like an M, angled straight line going down, and then that little horizontal note to anchor the lips in. If you don't have that horizontal note, it's gonna look really frowny, you know? So this just gives it kind of a neutral expression. And then constructing the upper lip, you'll kind of do this curving angled straight line going up, down, up, and this curving sort of angled straight line going down. With the lower lip, you don't want any definition on the edge of the lower lip. Instead, the definition to the lower lip will come from the shadow underneath the lower lip. And so if you're painting, um, if you're painting this, you know, a lip, for example, you'll probably use like a base flesh color with just a little bit of cadmium red added for the lower lip. And the, it'll be similar in tone to the flesh color that's right beside it. And then you'll kind of take a brush and wiggle across those two notes to really soften out that edge. Sometimes you'll get a little highlight that'll occur right there. Um, and then the upper lip, if you're painting it, will be more of a purplish, reddish brown color. Um, and it gets darker, darker, darker as it rolls into the line of the upper lip. And all of the edges of the lips will be pretty soft. So you'll kind of wiggle your brush or kind of cross hatch against the edges, soften out all of these edges so they don't look cut out, especially like lose this edge. But this center line can be nice and crisp. The corners of the mouth will kind of fade out to the soft edge, maybe a little bit cooler if you're working with color, sort of muscle tuck at the corners of the lip. And then with a three quarter mouth, you'll basically take the perspective, which is horizontal from the front view, and now it'll be receding to a vanishing point, which is way over here. And everything in the face will be kind of receding to that vanishing point. So the eyes, the nose, everything's kind of receding to that vanishing point. And again, you'll start with the horizontal note, angled straight line going up, down, up around the tubercle of the mouth, down, and then that little horizontal to anchor it in at the back. And then the lower lip is constructed with two circular fat pads with the divot between the two. And then that curving horizontal, that curving angled straight line to describe the wing of the upper lip, cutting down and the curving angled straight line to go back. And now the horizontal distances of these are getting less wide as you go back in space to get that receding into perspective. And again, no edge on the lower lip and instead the definition to the lower lip comes from the shadow underneath the lower lip. And with the profile mouth, you'll again start with this horizontal note, angled straight line going up, angled straight line going down. And then with these angles at the front here, um, these you'll make really clear and you'll wanna get them really sharp. So this cuts up at a nice strong 45 degree angle cutting up and then kind of swoops in under the nose into the philtrum. And then this is a curving straight line going up and then cutting down. So it's kind of like this half of the mouth. And then the whole upper lip will be in shadow and it gets darker as it rolls into the line of the center line between the lips and it gets really soft edged as it fades into the muscle tuck at the back. And then with the profile edge on the front of the lower lip, it sort of overshoots a little bit and then cuts down at a certain angle and then cuts under the lip and out into the chin. So these angles you can make really sharp, just like this line, but again, all the other edges on the lips will be really soft, especially this edge, which will be completely lost, and the definition to the lower lip comes from the shadow underneath the lower lip. 
Also, the nose sits half on and half off the face, so you can see that the philtrum comes out at like a midway point horizontally on the nose. So if you position the nose too far off the face, it's going to look too big. So you can see from a true profile that the nose basically sits half on and half off the face. So I hope that helps you to understand the construction of the mouth.